Let's see what we had. Uh, we have a, had a notable. Uh, corpse life. That means if you ever consume the corpse. That means if you consume the corpse. Increase damage if you consume the corpse. Skill switch create corpses have plus two maximum number. Reach and two percent life per second if you consume a corpse. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting node. That is a very good uh, node for desecrate. Like if you're doing like VD and VD and DD. Spellslinger or something like that. I think it's really good for that, right? The plus two corpses. Where is it located? Oh, it's here. It's like it's right next to melding. It's from this slot here. Oh no, it's from below. It's from the jewel slot. Okay, so that basically means that unless you're playing low life, you'll anoint that. If anything, I don't think VD built. I don't. I don't think at least at least most of the spell slinging builds don't even come near here. You're usually like here, right? So you would anoint it. It's an interesting cluster, though. Very cool. Very interesting. Okay, then we have what is this? Two hundred weapons. We've reviewed all two hundred weapon base types and have adjusted their attack damage, speed, and implicit with the Goal of giving 200 weapons built a different field their dual wield and one handed counterparts, and to ensure that the damage you gain by using 200 are made up for the lack of block and slower attack speed. All 200 weapons have had their base damage increased by at least 15% with axes in particular, gaining even more damage. Okay. There's just one issue though, especially if they are even even further lowering the the attack times. And uh, there's this thing where you already one shot most packs while dual wielding and having crazy attack speed already. So the the need to go with slow hitting setups doesn't really make too much sense. Uh... Plus, this is gonna make leap slamming like as a mobility like really, really, really feel bad. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, wait, Star Force has received other changes. Huh. My guess is that it's gonna make uh, make it so that it considers shocks as if dealing with like three hundred percent more damage or something like that. Kind of like they they did with the uh, the mates from uh, Minotaur. Would be my guess. That would kind of make sense. It's not related to this post, but your teacher you posted a few days ago. It says about uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, memes. I see. Yeah, brain ladder. Boring. And then we have reach of the council rework. Still have a greater volley. It's IPD. Flat physical attack speed projectile, reduced projectile speed. Arrows fired from the first firing points always pierce. 
arrow sprite from the second firing point fork. Third point return. And fourth chain plus two times. Uh and okay now that's a unique item. That is very unique. How does this work when you have more than four arrows? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Crater volley spreads your projectiles? Yep. Uh huh. The first firing points are the ones directly to the left and right of your character. The second firing points are to the left and the right of those. And arrows fire directly from your character, don't get any. Okay. Okay. Wait, so... That means you would need to have nine projectiles to be able to benefit from the chain. As in the middle, then you have paint time, boys. It is time for paint. Right. So here is us, okay? This is the the zero. This doesn't get anything. Okay, that's gonna be red. Then orange is gonna be the number one. So these will always pierce. These will always was it orc? These will always uh, wait. Pierce, fork, return, and then these will chain. Obviously, when you have a you have a volley, so it it should it's actually it's it's like it's like. Like like this, uh, of course. But the, the you got you got the point right. Uh, so, wait, how many projectiles does Crater Wally give? How many how many projectiles is this? Isn't this four projectiles? Yeah, this is good. Thank. This is this is better. This is a, a more effort. Yeah, plus four. So it gives... On top of that, you you would need to use GMP to get it. Get the remaining ones. Right? Because it doesn't... Yeah. Because it gives, you, it gives you these two and these two. And then you need another four after that. This is a very interesting unique. But what happens when you go past that? What happens when you go past that? What what happens to the arrows past that? Mm-hmm. The return in this item is special. It doesn't regard hitting an enemy. Those arrows will always return to you no matter what. Interesting. And since people are wondering, there are no changes to any of the existing mods. Can fully be with barrage. I assume. Wait. When you use. Yeah, it's gonna that's gonna be look that's gonna look very weird. 
<sighs> okay, where's the remaining responses? Hmm. Wait, this is... This was the one. So did nobody ask? There's 960 comments on this. Somebody must have asked it. What what happens after we get what happens for the next one? <laughs> Definitely is unique, yeah. <laughs> Another legacy. <laughs> oh god. Yes, item level of the beast matters. It's it's based it the item level is based on the level of the beast when you craft that. Re 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 work of this item. <laughs> what if I use with arrow and arts? Uh, mm. Okay, Oh no, I don't I don't even wanna think about it dude. Can we can we not think about what happens with Arrow Nova? Nobody cares because if you get plus eight arrows and still need more plus arrows, you need three them for zero. See there are people who just like to meme around, okay? Hmm What would you even what would you, would you even use this or this for? Like the damage doesn't look particularly insane. Oh, the only thing I can think about is like some just like clearing with like lightning arrow or something like that. I mean, always Pierce is very po powerful. Plus two chain is also really good. And obviously, you I mean, but you need you need pl plus four projectiles. So where would you get the two, the extra projectiles if you don't use if you don't use uh, use a GMP on this? Dying Sun is like, Dying Sun would give you the returning projectiles, where would you get the last ones? Quiver and Deadeye maybe? Or I guess Bow and Quiver? No wait, no, can't have Bow when you're using this, never mind. And what if you're not a Deadeye? That's the real quest. I mean you still get one, you can still, still get one. Shading arrow with without being a dead eye, but I yeah. I I have a really hard time seeing a lot of people use this with the you know the crazy craft bows that we have access to. Hmm. It is most certainly. A very interesting item, at least. Hmm. It's very, very unique. Just for clear. I mean, yeah, I guess this is like you just go ahead, Hunter, and clear. Hmm. <laughs> this rework was a reach. Yeah. I mean, 
If the damage was higher, this would be a very, very good bow. And if it had like base crits. But I, I still I still wanna know what happens when you get X when when you when you go to ten projectiles or more. I wanna know what happens then. That is that is what I need to know. For reasons I can't silly describe. 